language and literature. Explains the use of the literary elements of a story. Theme, plot, setting, character, point of view. Identify symbols within the text and evaluate the author's use of symbolism to convey ideas. Determine the author's style, identifying particular word choices and figurative language. Short story. The term short story usually refers to the modern short story. This genre packs a lot into a short format. It can be defined as a brief prose narrative usually characterized by uniformity of action, having as plot a single action and theme. It usually tells events with a definite beginning, middle, and end. It is frequent that short stories may have very little plot and never move to a completed action. A short story is usually centered on a single incident and usually contains one event focusing on a single aspect of life. Some stories mainly focus on action, some on theme. The number of characters in a short story is usually limited, though they are rather vivid, distinct, and developed. The story may belong to a particular type, psychological, historical, adventure, detective, science fiction, social, documentary, or be the mixture of a number of the types. In short, a short story reveals the following characteristics. It is short, it has unity, it is concise, nothing is wasted there. Can Hemingway manage in two or three pages in a very short format to develop his concept? Theme. What do you think is the underlying theme of the story? And let me remind you that a theme is an idea or message conveyed by a written text which often explores timeless and universal ideas. Most themes are implied rather than explicitly stated. The theme is different from the superficial outlay of the text. It is normally the meaning of the text on a more abstract level. The author's point of view and attitude is revealed in the way he develops the theme of the story. Setting. Setting serves a variety of purposes in the text. One of the main purposes of it is creating credibility of the plot. Setting involves time and place, tells us where and when the story takes place. It provides a background, a place for the characters to live. The setting may place the character in a recognizable, realistic environment. Also, setting may include geographical names. Where is the story cut in the rain set? How is the setting established in the story? Does it support the theme of the story? Character. Authors use a variety of techniques to develop their main characters, protagonists. Descriptions, dialogues, actions, reactions. Do minor characters have some importance in the story cut in the rain? Find in the story all the different ways that Hemingway characterizes the protagonist, underline descriptions, underline dialogues, and underlying thoughts. Direct and indirect characterization. The act of creating and describing a character is called characterization. There are two kinds of characterization. Sometimes information about a character is stated directly. The author explicitly tells us what the character is like. In other instances, the narrator, other characters, or a character's own words and actions may reveal information about the character indirectly. This means that uh, they show us uh, who the character is rather telling us. Indirect characterization is tricky. While it can develop characters more richly, it can mislead, because the reader must interpret it. Readers must use other clues in the story to interpret indirect characterization. Authors often develop their characters through indirect characterization. How does Hemingway develop his characters? Style. All good books 
are a liking that that they are truer than if they had really uh, if they had really happened and after you are finished reading one you will feel that all that happened to you and afterwards it all belongs to you the good and the bad the ecstasy the remorse and sorrow the people and the places and how the weather was if you can get so that you can give that to people then you're a writer so Hemingway believed that a writer's style should be directed personal his imagery rich and earthy and his words simple and vigorous his style is famous for the iceberg principle on the surface remarkably and deceptively simple and somewhat plain is just the surface portion of the iceberg and below the surface as deep as a lower part of the iceberg he usually presents his narrative with simple sentences and dialogues leaving a vast space for the readers to draw deep implications in Hemingway's stories every word every event every action is important nothing is wasted small details which at first glance may seem trivial and inconsequential all serve a purpose Short stories usually focus on only one defining moment in the life of one character, one event in time, one setting. Is it true of the story Cat in the Rain?